Hello guys, shooters, welcome back to our Battle Station Pacific Remastered Let's Play as the US Naval Forces. We're going to jump straight in, make this a double bill for today, as promised, with the Battle of the Surigao Strait. And you can see I've played this one in my own time before with a gold medal, so uh, we can see exactly what our hidden objective is, and that is to make sure at least one of our destroyers must survive. What does that mean, you may ask? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, this is a fun one. This is absolutely a fun one. So um, our primary objective is to sink the IJN Fusa and IJN Mogami. And the secondary objective is to take out at least four more other enemy ships. And we can absolutely do that indeed. Um, so this is a brand new mission that's been brought into uh, the remastered pack. Absolutely brand new. It's not, it's not like um, in the IJN campaign where they brought in Strike on the Monster um, as a new mission, which was actually a... Um, a ship challenge from Battle Stations Midway, this game's predecessor. This is brand new, which is why we don't see an accurate tactical map here. But that's absolutely fine. It's well worth it. And you know what? We are absolutely going to go for the Lupus Destroyer. All will be made clear when we get into uh, the match. So let's ruddy bloody go. Sir, the fleet is maintaining 20 knots. Sealing and visibility unlimited, and there's no sign of the enemy. So we wait. Where are they, though? Intelligence is earmarked tonight for the attack. They could be anywhere. They'll be planning a big attack. It's what I do. Sweep the area. Sir, enemy vanguard ships ahead. Good. Hit them hard before the rest of their fleet arrives. Great group engaging enemy. Hit them. Will do, sir. Look at what our force is here. An absolute unit of a PT Armada here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then, so we are absolutely all going to attack as one. We're just going to uh, curve around here and come to the side of the enemy. So <laughs> Back in the day when I used to play the base game uh, online with my friend, we used to play the uh, island capture mode. We made a rule uh, um, now and then where we wouldn't use any planes. And once that rule came into, uh, <laughs> came into play, we would uh, uh, now and then use the grand old meta strategy of the PT Armada. This is absolutely a callback to that for me. This is so, so good. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> These brave, brave souls <laughs> taking on a proper task of the Fuso and the Mogami as well. Just in their patrol boats here, their speed boats. <laughs> So we're going to get rid of uh, a couple of the destroyers first before we hit the uh, Fusa and the Mogami. That is why we're going to the side here without even uh, glancing at the enemy there. Uh, just so we can get rid of some of the small arms fire which will actually be the uh, higher priority threat for us here. So what we're going to do is just launch a few torpedoes almost almost as a random spread there. We're going to switch to another destroyer, uh, not a destroyer, another uh, PC boat here. We're going to hit the Shugure. If possible, looks like we have hit with a couple of um, torpedoes onto the Yamagamo there. Excellent stuff. Does sound like we might be losing. Yeah, we lost at least one of our PC boats, I think, there. How are these torpedoes looking? Looks like we're definitely going to get a couple on target there. And that's all you need to sink a destroyer there. That will certainly go down to flooding. Absolutely brilliant there. Let's move to another PC boat. And we can start hitting, I think. What should we go for now? We should take control of the um, formation so that we're not actually uh, sat stationary. Let's uh, loosen up a bit. Let's loosen up a bit. Give some more orders out for a couple to hit the Mogami there. And we can move around like that. Of course, the weakness of having such a large formation is the fact that it will be so immobile sometimes. And we'll drag a bit. Oh, this is a <laughs> <an> absolute dream. <laughs> an 
absolute dream. You can tell the modders are also madmen and know what's fun in this game. <laughs> Looks like we are getting some torpedoes towards the Mogami there, but uh, they may well miss there, which is rather unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and hit the Fuso here. Just gets a little bit closer for our aim. We're going to jump over to the leading PT boat there, which does have a nice... Uh, distance to the Fuso. Should not be possible to miss with any of these torpedoes, but you never know. You never know. The AI do be pulling some tricks sometimes. So there's a couple hits and that is brilliant stuff. That may go down there. Let's take control of PC331 here and get some more torpedoes on target. Looks like we have lost that PC boat just there. Absolutely fine to lose a few PC boats. Absolutely fine indeed. That is not a problem. And to be honest, against this, you've got to expect it. You absolutely have to expect it there. Looks like all four torpedoes hit the Fuso there. That still won't be going down just to that, though. Uh, we're going to tell these uh, um, PC boats to actually hit the Mogami as well. Like so. It does appear that uh, this is still trying to get in formation here. So we're going to take command of this uh, formation and get that moving once again. Fuso is just under half health though, so a few more torpedoes will bring it down. And then we can focus the Mogami, I think. Oh, this is the time to get your torpedo beats on. <laughs> Absolutely the time to get the torpedo beats on. <laughs> just an absolute meme of a formation here. Looks like the Fuso is still taking flooding damage, actually, so uh, we might not have to uh, launch torpedoes. Still going to maneuver into position just in case, because the uh, damage does seem to be slowing down, as if they're getting on top of it. But look at the fraction of health there, just a sliver of health. If that survives, come on. You're nearly there. No, that looks like it may well survive there. Look at how much health that is. If that took one more torpedo from uh, the previous hit there, well, that would have gone down. So we're going to just launch some preemptive torpedoes here. Save one in reserve for when it eventually stops to try and dodge these. But it looks like it might be lucky and score a couple hits here. Might just bring that down with those ones. So that is absolutely fantastic. Yep, there we go. Let's launch. Do we need to? No, we don't need to launch all of those hits. That's brilliant. We're certainly going to save this last one for the Mogami then to try and immobilize that. How are we doing on its flank though? Looks like we're doing pretty damn well. Pretty, pretty damn well. Yeah, absolutely encircling it here. <laughs> we are just going to stop in front of it though, apparently. Pull some reversing maneuvers. Not a problem there. Yep, that's pretty much expected when you uh, when you just stop next to an enemy cruiser like that, but that's okay. He's going to try turning into our torpedoes here that we fire off. That's absolutely fine. He's going to take a couple there, though. Let's send some more his way. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's what you like to see. Luckily, we can't have friendly fire here because PTs certainly don't sit low enough in the water to take the torpedoes. That should go down to flooding now. Let's give it some love taps there. Just say hello ourselves with our <laughs> Get rid of a few of the AA mounts there so we don't take so much damage. And that's about all we can damage ourselves there before it does go down. And that is absolutely brilliant. Is going down. Is that confirmed? Absolutely, sir. She's finished. And we've broken the Japanese formation. They're turning and retreating. The Japanese main force is approaching, sir. All vessels, hold formation. Reinforcements here, sir. Destroyer awaiting orders. Destroyer, welcome. Get a curtain of fire up and engage anything that moves and has a red circle on it. You know what, sir? We're the Navy's finest. What's your course, Vanguard? Direction corrected according to recon. Closing our enemy at full speed. Enemy destroyers heading right towards us. Your orders, Commander. We will make the difference. We will sow the seeds of success. Prepare yourselves. Alrighty then, so you can see why I wanted the Lupus destroyer. Look at how many just, just <laughs> destroyers we have now. We are certainly going to launch as many torpedoes as we can. 
into this formation here. Just a very wide random spread to try and catch whatever we can here. Um, although having said that, Destroyer is certainly more vulnerable to um, fire because they are the bigger targets, of course, that goes without saying. And now that we have uh, less firepower on the Lupissons in terms of artillery, it's going to take a bit longer to get rid of their own destroyers here. So we are relying on our torpedo power here. That's absolutely not a problem. Got a magazine explosion straight away on the Akabono there. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant, brilliant shooting, if I may say so myself. Just going to launch some more torpedoes. We've lost a magazine on the Bristol as well. Not a problem there. Not a problem. We can certainly heal that back for ourselves. Go to try and get hold of one of these destroyers here. And we're going to launch some against the Nachi there as well. Look at all of this. We need to. We've hit our own destroyer with some torpedoes. <laughs> disgusting display there. Absolutely disgusting display. It's disgusting as well because we just sat. <laughs> sat right in front of them. Completely ignoring any of their firepower and just trying to get so many torpedoes onto them. Look at that. It's a shame we got such a narrow arc of fire there, though. And we're going to gun down this Hataru here as well, I think. Uh, not before we crash into uh, the Bristol here, so we're just going to move that out of the way. Let's go right up personal. <laughs> right into this guy's face here. Say hello to the Hatsuharu there. Everyone wave as we say bye bye to them. Bye bye Hatsuharu. <laughs> Goodbye Hatsuharu. Let's try and get some fires on. They're unfortunately not the fastest uh, reloading guns here. They've taken a severe beating. Yeah, they have certainly taken a severe beating here. We could certainly control us a bit better. Shall we take our destroyers and give them some uh, also uh, commands there? Okay, there we go, just letting the dialogue go there a bit, because it is rather enjoyable to hear that. And that should be going down as well, that is absolutely brilliant stuff. Let's get even more torpedoes into the water, we certainly need to start firing on the Yamashiro here, uh, because torpedoes are certainly going to be the only way we get that down. So let's just launch quite the widespread there, make sure it just can't dodge them, no matter which way it turns there, that is brilliant. Oh, is that not... How can you deny that to be a wonderful sight there with all of these torpedoes in the water? <laughs> so, so good. Absolute beauty of a mission here. Really thank the uh, uh, producers of this mod. Absolutely brilliant. Everything you look for in this game when you try getting a uh, surface engagement. Let's get some more torpedoes towards the Imashiro there. We don't just have to use our destroyers here, we can move over to the battleships once they're in range. We might have a look at that actually. Let's see, okay we do just have the destroyers, no we don't look in the wrong direction here. But are they in range? Does not appear so. They are just going to sit to guard the border there. Let's go to the uh, lowry there. And try and get some more torpedoes off, but we are reloading. Not a problem. Not a problem there. Just get the Wakaba there. Reduce the amount of fire coming onto us. It's always useful. Uh, aim still needs to uh, be sorted out a bit there, but we are going to get the Wakaba down. Excellent stuff. Uh, how's this one? We've not launched any torpedoes from the Massey yet. Disgusting display. Shameful display there. Let's get some torpedoes on the Ashigara as well. We can certainly source out the light cruiser with our guns. So let's try and focus on the heavier targets, shall we? Uh, do we have anyone else that can fire some torpedoes off? We've already checked the lowry. Zellers has not fired any torpedoes whatsoever either. Shameful. Shameful. How is, no, how is there a ship that's not fired torpedoes yet? <laughs> We are getting some more hits on the Yamashiro though, which is absolutely brilliant. 
It looks like our main caliber guns are um, not doing the job against the um, Akaba there. So let's just fire some more torpedoes here before we go down with the low rear. Do not claim to be doing this uh, the most effective way, but I'm doing this certainly the most fun way. <laughs> Looks like those are all going to miss though, which is unfortunate. Let's take the Owens here then. Get a little closer ourselves. Let's move actually the formation up a bit further, but we have lost engine power here. They are getting close to our battleships now though, which is brilliant. Going to leave this down here, the Bristol down here, just to sneak in that's a hidden objective. Just to sneak that in. Because it was uh, at least one of our um, destroyers needs to survive the battle. That's certainly not going to happen otherwise, the way we're treating them. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dear. Let's launch more torpedoes in this direction then. Oh, our engine is destroyed there. Hitting another Japanese destroyer right in front of us. Didn't even see that there's so much stuff about. And uh, let's take control of the storms here. Fire even more torpedoes off there. Look at all of that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> off we sunk there looks like the Yamashiro is finally going down so the uh, Ashigara here certainly needs to go as well we are taking a beating on the Zellers though and that is not acceptable at all gonna try and break the engine a little bit on the Ashigara there just so it takes one or two torpedoes it has taken a couple though so uh, it might be an idea to actually aim for the fuel so we get some fires on there just to help the uh, damage over time a little we are certainly getting a couple hits would like some faster firing guns, but uh, should have gone for Fletcher's or Allen M. Summer if you wanted that. Torpedoes absolutely the focus in this particular battle. Just far more reliable, if you ask me. If we get a couple more hits onto the fuel there, this will go down, and there you go, splitting in two. Brilliant stuff. How many did we, uh, <laughs> we lost so many destroyers? <laughs> Only uh, four remaining. The are retreating, sir. That was the last of them, for now, anyhow. Victory, and boy, we deserve that, sir. Okay, so now that we don't actually have a. Um, narrator to read this. So I'm going to read this for you. So uh, Nishimura's southern force fought bravely, but they were heavily outnumbered and outgunned in this battle. Using the crossing the T strategy against this force proved to be efficient in this fight, but yet Nishimura did not stand a chance against our ships. Without Rear Admiral Jesse Oldendorf's uh, ragtag fleet, the IJN's southern force could have swiftly made it through the Surigao Strait. Not only that, but it was a chance for our Pearl Harbor battleships to receive revenge for what they endured against this foe. Overall, this was a great tactical victory of, in, the bas in the Battle of Leyte Gulf. And that is absolutely correct. A brilliant victory, if I may say so. Yes, another gold uh, star um, of the very, very few that we've got in this series. <laughs> But uh, well deserved in this particular case, if I may say so. So uh, that will be it for today, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, videos put out today. Um, do apologise that the first one today was uh, a little bit slow, or oh, a bit, bit, bit too quick, actually. It's uh, the opposite of slow. Uh, ended rather abruptly there. But uh, thank you very much for watching anyway. I hope you've enjoyed it, as I say. I've been the Edify Gamer, and I hope your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.